right, people, this is the deal. I come up under here where y'all can hear me talk. There's a lot of wind. I've got a lot of muddy water here. And uh, I'm needing some fresh skipjack. We're gonna fish a little bit of downtown Knoxville tonight, so what we're gonna do is I noticed on the way up here at Third Creek, the water was a lot clearer, so we're gonna go down river and troll Third Creek and try to get just a couple fresh skipjack. This water's muddy, it's flowing, it should be a good bite. I've only got about an hour before dark, so we gotta make quick work of this. See if we can find some clear water, man. We should be able to hook up with some bait. All right, y'all, just a mile down river, man. The water is a lot more normal colored. It's kind of muddy over in the main channel, but in here, uh, it's a little darker than normal, but these skipjacks should be able to find my lowers here, so. We don't have long, I only want a couple, because it's just a weak night, so. Let's see what happens right in this area. I'm just gonna circle this creek mouth, see if we can't pick up a couple skipjacks. Surely we'll find a couple here. There's one right there, right there on the right. Little small, but better than none. I'm gonna see how far out in the river they go here. It's getting close to these things spawning, so they're gonna be up close to the banks most likely. They are tough today after all that rain. There's one. That white bass got me tangled up in my braided line, so I'm just gonna cut it, because you can't hardly do nothing with braided line, so I'm just gonna cut the braided line. We're gonna be down to one rod. I hate braided line. I'm gonna put this skipjack rig. There's a, there's a fish. I'm gonna put this skipjack rig on my catfish rod, so we can have two rods in the water. Whoa, what's up? As soon as I get this tied on, I'll get that skipjack. He's on there. There we go. We're going to catch skipjack with the catfish rod. It's small, but it'll have to do. After going through that trouble of tying it, I want to catch one on the catfish rod. That's a good piece of bait there. Right in front of that creek's the only spot we're getting any today. I'll keep circling back through it. I've got enough to fish, really. I'm just determined to get one on that catfish rod since I went through the trouble of cutting off my rig and tying that on there. They were hitting that pretty good. We don't have long before dark. Cat 
catfish rod, catfish rod. Catching skipjack on a big cat fever rod. Hey, I've got this heavy spoon on the back, so I knew I could cast it. It worked. Got that extra piece of bait now. We're getting ready to anchor by a bridge. We're going to target a flathead. Might have to settle for a blue. But we are going to target a flathead type of structure. Let's head up river. Right there, right there, right there, right there, right there. Oh. Well, that was a sign of life. Probably a small flathead that couldn't get all that skipjack in his mouth. Either way, we're in the right spot. There he goes again. There he goes again. There he goes. Oh, dude. 
Downtown Knoxville Flathead, man. Oh, yeah, honey. Woo, look at the colors on it. Pretty old fish, man. Nice looking fish. And that thing fought. That thing pulled hard. Woo. Yeah. Well, there it is. That didn't take no time. Fresh bait, the right spot. That was a flathead that hit it the first time. That's the sounds of the city right there. I ain't got no anchor down, man. Using my spot lock on my new remote. I fished up here Saturday, caught a bunch of bait. And uh, Sunday I woke up and I was having uh, battery charger trouble. So I never fished Sunday. So I'm like, man, I gotta do something for another video. So we've had a cold front pass through. It's chilly now. You can see I've got my green jacket on in May. Uh, the water's real muddy from all the rain we've had. It wasn't supposed to be that windy, but they lied. Once in a while I get a break in the wind where I can talk. But it's been very windy. We're not gonna stay long, it's a weeknight. I wanted to target a flathead close to the house and get one. We done that. Those things fight hard, man. We'll set up just a little after dark and then we're heading in. Great. They're shooting fireworks. I hope that don't uh, scare off them flatheads, man. They're a pretty spooky fish. That's all I need, a bunch of noise. They can handle the sirens, they're used to that. Of course, there's a lot of gunshots down here in Knoxville, so they might just think it's a normal night. Maybe we'll be all right. That's my luck, they go shooting fireworks, but not I come down here and get set up on a flathead spot. Either way, I'm gonna chunk on a piece of this fresh white bass just for something different. Come out here for a after work catfish show close to the house. I'm gonna enjoy the city lights, see if I can't get one more tonight. And we head into the house. I just seen a bite. I see a bite. I see a very, very subtle bite right there on the left. That's the way those flatheads do. It starts out subtle. That's what's going on. It's very subtle, just like that other fish. If I was fishing for blue cat, I'd be over about 50 feet to the right, and I'd probably catch them all night. But I can catch blues any time of year. Springtime, every now and then, I'll just flat out target a flathead just for something different. We are not in the channel at all. Fishing about, the channel runs about 25 foot through here. I'm fishing an area that averages 13 to 15 feet, and then there's like this, uh, somewhat of a hump and then a, a, quite a bit of a drop off area where it goes down into 20 foot just in a small area right here in the back of my boat. I spot locked right where I want to be. Excellent current break. And you can get a blue cat here but it's definitely flathead territory. If I was 40 feet to the right I probably wouldn't see a flathead all night.
right there, right there. Things don't give up. He's going to spook out every flathead in here. Well, that. Fresh white bass head. Got him. He's a little smaller than the first one. Still a nice fish, though. Fish boys. Yeah. All right, people, this wind's starting to shift the opposite direction. It's making it a hassle. Uh, it is a weak night. I caught the right at dark flathead bite just like I wanted to. This is a video. There was fish in the video. That makes it a fishing video. This is Catfish Day from downtown Knoxville, signing out.